Well, good morning, folks. How are you? I hope that I find you very well indeed and you're all having a brilliant day or night so far. It's absolutely freezing here and chucking it down with rain, so not the best of starts to the day. But hey-ho, what can you do? So yeah, so welcome back to What's For Tea. Or if you're new, welcome to you also. This is What's For Tea. My name is Cheryl and this is just the part of the week where I like to show you what I picked up from the supermarket. Now, this isn't my normal weekly food shopping haul. This is simply a few things that I needed for the recipes that I've got coming up. So yeah, so I just thought I'd pop it up just to let you see anyway. Like I said, not my normal food shopping video, but a food shopping video nonetheless. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing the Haggis Neep and Tatty Pie. So many of you wanted to see that, so I'm going to be doing that. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not consider subscribing just before you leave? And if you click that wee notification bell, you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. So yeah, so like I said, I did need a few bits and bobs. I'm going to be doing the Haggis Neeps and Tatty Pie. Like I said, so many of you were interested in seeing that. So I've decided just to do it. And I'm also going to be doing a tiramisu, a wee Valentine tiramisu in plenty of time for Valentine's Day. I'm going to be doing that in the next couple of days. So I spent just over £30. So the first thing I picked up were our normal gastro chips. Not part of the recipe but I did need them and also our usual frozen jacket potatoes as well. We love them. I needed a couple of Swedes for the haggis neep and tatty pie so I picked those up. And I needed mascarpone cheese for the tiramisu. I love tiramisu and some dark chocolate buttons. You know, if I'm at an Italian restaurant and there's tiramisu on the menu, that's what I order. I love it. A big bag of potatoes because we were out. And some double cream, again, that's for the tiramisu. And some haggis for the haggis neep and tatty pie. You, you either love haggis or you hate it. I personally love it. I'll explain more about the haggis when I'm doing the video. So that's the haggis. And I also needed some amaretto for the tiramisu. Now, it's just for a dessert, so I didn't get the, you know, the branded Di Serrano one. I just get the cheap and cheerful one, because it's just for a pudding. Some golden caster sugar. And I also needed some sponge fingers for the tiramisu, or lady fingers. So that's them. And I also picked up some puff pastry, again, for the haggis neeps and tatty pie so that's it like i said not very much there but i did just want to pop it up and let you see what i've got planned in the next few days so hopefully i'll see you back for one of those recipes like i said i will be doing the tiramisu in plenty of time for valentine's day because it's a couple of weeks away so uh, you know just in case you're looking for a wee pudding or dessert idea for Valentine's Day and I think you need to go a long way to beat a good tiramisu. Absolutely delicious and like I say the very first thing I'll order from a, an Italian restaurant from the dessert menu if I go and that you know I haven't been to an Italian for a long long time so I might be doing that as well actually. We're going to a concert next week, uh, a Monsters of Rock concert in our local town so um, we're looking for somewhere to go for dinner before that so that's a good idea actually so if we do go that'll feature on my meals of the week that week <laughs> so yeah so thank you very much for popping over just to check out this wee quick video and I will be back in the next few days with the haggis neep and tatty recipe followed by the tiramisu recipe so until I see you next mind to take care of yourselves and I will see you very soon bye for now bye now <laughs>